this is an insanely personal book. Were there um, any moments or any stories that you just decided I can't put that in or I'm not ready to, or what was sort of your line on what to share? Mm. Well, it's less about what I'm willing to share because I'm willing to share everything. I don't, it, you know, some people process their challenges in life. Some people process their trauma. Some people process their difficulties. Like they need a cocoon in which to process that. And for me, I only process it in the emerging. You know, like I need to put all that stuff publicly. I need to write about it to synthesize it and figure everything out, right? The writing of this book is the healing for me, right? It was the healing. Like this, it, this literally is a document of, it's a documentation of my healing process um, because that, that's the way I know how to heal. Um, so there's not anything really that I would be ashamed to write about or that I would want to withhold from folks, but there's certainly stuff, I mean like if I wrote everything I wanted to, I mean, A, like, I'm going to write books for the rest of my life, so get ready. And B, like, it would have been, like, 1,300 pages. And I would have been like, hi, I'm Jacob. I have a debut book coming out. It's a funny book, and it's 1,300 pages. You can, you can, if you drop it on someone from more than two stories up, they will get a concussion. Like, you know, I, I was like, no, I can't do that. You're welcome. Right, so there was stuff that I had to kind of, like, you know, limit or, or say, you know, we'll save that for later. And a lot of that was my history um, and, 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 you know, kind of work as an activist kid. Because I was also an activist kid. As much as as much as I was figuring out my gender, I was like I was I was fighting. Like I was you know at the North Carolina General Assembly lobbying legislators when I was like 16. I was in I was like you know in the main park uh, in Raleigh, Moore Square, protesting the Iraq War like in seventh grade. You know what I mean? Like I was I've always had this kind of activist heart, and that's inspired by my upbringing in the church. That's inspired by my faith tradition. That's inspired by having really really good teachers who like let me read like dystopian novels and think about fascism and how bad it is like way before probably a lot of kids got the chance to read that stuff. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot I want to say about that. And then there's also a lot I want to talk about in terms of um, in future work about about kind of what uh, what sexual liberation looks like in the context of trans identity, because that's a conversation that like, you know, right now we're just fighting as trans people for the right to exist. And I'm like, no, 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 that's not enough. Like I as a trans person want to exist, be loved, make out a lot and like, you know, have like have like a cute partner and like get laid, you know, pretty frequently. Like that would be a, ideally a, a goal of mine. And I think that we need to live in a world where trans people have the same access to partnership and romance and sex and cute dates as anybody else. Yeah, exactly.